This is uh, Cumidwell National Nature Reserve and we're right by the edge of Llynidwell, which is in the centre of Cumidwell. It is managed in partnership between the National Trust, National Park and Natural Resources Wales. The um, boundary of the National Nature Reserve extends up the Gribbin and it goes up to Glitterfawr, it comes back down Llynacoon and then it goes over the Garn and comes down us with the Garn past the lake shore here up to the edge of the lake behind me. Cumidwell is one of the best examples, if not the best examples, of a geological landscape and a glacial landscape in the UK. It's the best teaching tool when you bring people up here to, to teach them about the basics of geology. The geology we have here and the botany makes it an excellent outdoor classroom. Down the bottom, by Llynogwen, we've got the interpretation room run by the partnership and both Llynogwen, Ogwen Cottage run by the National Trust. It is estimated that 125,000 people come here each year and that includes educational groups from all over the UK. We want to try and encourage people who can come up to Cymudwell to come up to Cymudwell. This is why we design paths like we have behind me. We try to make paths of people for, available to for people of all abilities. These are stone pitched paths which are um, a feature we see in the highlands. The stone is carried by helicopter here and pitched in the traditional method. By making suitable paths, we keep people on the paths rather than on the sensitive habitats we have either side. I often bring uh, groups of school children and uh, college students up here, um, including a lot of uh, societies who want to learn about the place. And one of the main things that I talk about, because it's of interest to me, is the geology here. Um, it's exceptional in Kumitwal and it's a fantastic example of a volcanic landscape that's been folded and mashed up um, over hundreds of millions of years and has been subsequently um, exposed by the work of glaciers. So we've climbed up slightly higher now to the back of Kumitwal, um, just below Tulti or Devil's Kitchen. Behind me, Llynidwal, and then further on, Llynogwen, the lakes there. Behind me over this shoulder, we've got some classic examples of Arctic alpines. We've got the Moss Campion and the Rose Root, um, both very special plants, and they're here mainly because of the geology of the rock underneath. It's slightly less acidic than what's around us. We're here now in August and we can see a big, big difference in what we saw earlier. Most of the Arctic Alpine plants are past their best now, but what we can see is a massive increase in flowering of the dry and wet heath plants, in other words, the heather communities. Grazing was removed from here approximately 20 years ago. If you look around, you can see how the impact of grazing has an effect on the vegetation. Immediately adjacent to us is a grazed area. This is the mountain of Blynanant. Sheep graze this area and cattle graze it. But once we go into Cymidwell, you'll see that there is very little sheep grazing and no cattle grazing, and there is a major change in the vegetation. I'm now standing in a sea of purple, in a sea of mature Coluna vulgaris and other heathland species. What a change that, that has occurred here in the last 20 years. 20 years ago, this slope was nothing but grassland, inverted commas, with a certain amount of other plants in it, and hardly any indication of Kaluna and the dry heathland that we've got here now. What we've got here is a classic example of a base-rich rock, in other words, a rock with less acidity than the majority of upland rocks, and it's giving an opportunity for a range of plants to occur. Also amongst the rain, range of plants, we've got some extremely rare ones, such as tufted saxifrage. We've also got maiden hair splenut in the background there, and many mosses. We're now at the base of Clogwina Geir, adjacent to Tulti, the Devil's Kitchen, on the steep slopes of Devil's Kitchen, at the western end of Cumidwell. This is the highlight of any visit to Cumidwell to look at montane and Arctic alpine plants. On the gripping behind me, which is on the skyline, there are fossils of brachiopods. These are creatures that lived under the sea 400 million years ago. 12,000 years ago, it was the end of the glacial period where the ice went away. About six to 8,000 years ago, the late Mesolithic period, we've got evidence of the human inhabitants of Cumidwell, which have left artifacts and they have left place names, surviving place names. The Cumidwell National Nature Reserve has been here for 60 years, which in the grand scheme of things is a blink of an eye. We've done so much in that 60 years in terms of conservation, education and recreation. Today, looking forward, we'll try and develop that, those areas and we'll use Buthinokwen Ogwen Cottage to further develop education, 
recreation and conservation for future generations.